Okay, so I've been having a lot of fun on Warpcast um, slash Farcaster. So it's basically a new sort of social media, Web3 social media, everything we've been kind of waiting for, dreaming for, uh, finally arrived um, in, in one form or another. And basically, you know, when I, I set this up quite a while back and there's a different sort of maybe another tutorial for getting started, but this is more for people that have already um, got an account and basically looking at the DGEN. The community is basically sharing this DGEN, which is like a reward system, a kind of almost like in app, in social media currency, which basically uh, puts value on your content that you produce or value on content that you see. So if you see content and you um, uh, like that content, then you can um, sort of add um, DGEN or gift DGEN to the to the people that have made that content um, just by simply clicking a, so I'll show something here. So this was like an airdrop I did for saying, you know, I can airdrop this piece to the uh, to people that uh, kind of share Dijon, basically. Um, so as you can see, you know, there's people that have kind of added um, like the Dijon amount here. So that's like the number by the dollar sign, then Dijon. And that basically credits your account with that amount of Dijon. And then uh, if you go to Dijon Tips and you log in with your account, you can then go to, there was two airdrops. The first airdrop was for the first people on boarding. Um, and then the second airdrop, they changed the dynamics slightly, um, where basically you get um, a, a sort of new allocation, a new uh, daily allowance. So at the moment, I've got like eight, thousand dgen that i can distribute over 24 hours so when i'm on farcaster broadcast i literally just go to my feed uh yeah so any work that i see um that i want to reward or or like as such then i can add uh, dgen uh, amounts to that just by putting the number of dgen dollar sign and dgen so how do you get dgen in order to set up DGEN, you really need to um, have your wallet linked to your account. So um, within your settings of your account, there's uh, a place to verify your address. Um, so you can basically link your, your wallet with your uh, Warpcast account. So I'm using my original wallet that I set up when I set up the, the um, Warpcast uh, account. So, and that's now linked and it's the only wallet. Before I had like multiple wallets and it got really confused. I didn't know which wallet it was going to do. So I stripped all the other wallets out and just kept this one wallet in there. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is basically we need to convert some um, Ethereum. So I, in my wallet, I've got $29 worth of Ethereum, and I want to convert that to um, this, which is the um, Ethereum that's on the base network. So I'm basically converting it to base Ethereum to base Ethereum. Um, so to do that, we are going to go to this uh, bridge.base.org forward slash deposit. This is not financial advice, and basically I'm just doing this. Um, and it can all go drastically wrong. So basically, it's your responsibility. <laughs> um, so as I'm probably going to show now, there's also gas fees, which you'll see. And I'm just going to take the hit on that because I'm just doing this video and whatever the gas fee is, I'll just accept it. Um, but you can obviously wait for the gas to go a bit lower and then kind of do it when it, the gas is really low. Um, so I'm just going to connect my wallet first. Actually, I'm going to just hit the max. So I've got $29 USD. So basically, I'm not going to transfer all that uh, over to base right now. Um, plus, I, I wouldn't recommend doing huge amounts just in case it does all go pear-shaped and you lose it all. Although that's still a, a lot a lot to lose. Okay, so I'm going to go for $17 transferring. What I'm doing is going from Ethereum to base. And I'm going to hit the deposit. Okay, so I'm going to hit the sign button. Uh, it's basically confirming. So basically in my wallet, 
I should see now that my Ethereum base is going to go from $1.67. Uh, this is going to go down, my original Ethereum. Okay, so in my wallet, you can now see that my Ethereum base, uh, my original Ethereum has dropped down, and my Ethereum base now is at $19, which is great. Okay, it might take some time to go through, so hopefully, yeah, don't panic. Um, that's why it's good to do small amounts. So now I'm now confident that that worked. So maybe I can do a larger amount next time. Um, so I've now got $19 uh, yeah, in my base. I know it's base because it's got this little uh, blue circle and line through it. Um, okay, so now I've got some base. I'm going to buy some degen. Okay, so again, this should be quite straightforward. And again, um, it shouldn't really cost that much in gas. So basically what I'm going to do is click on my Ethereum um, base and it says here this ETH is on base network and basically what I'm going to do this time is in I'm not in um, anywhere any website I'm actually in my wallet and I'm going to click Ethereum um, base and this time I'm going to go to swap and what I want to do is swap my Ethereum base for Degen, and you know it's a Degen because again it's got this kind of uh, purple hat, top hat, and it's got the base symbol as well. So I'm now I'm going base to base. I know it's Degen that I'm going to. Um, again, I could I could swap the whole lot, um, or I could again just do a test amount. You can see the fee is is minimum, so you know there's there's no massive fee there. So basically what I'm going to do is reduce this down. Just again, as a, it's probably good practice just to do it as like a test. So I'm going to um, swap uh, $4 of base. But before I do that, just just again, just to make sure that you um, that it's definitely gone through. So that's my current figure there of uh, Dijon. Um, so that should change. So it's uh, 10, 7, 4, 3 at the moment. I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to swap. Max. I'm going to transfer uh, just $5 worth. I'm going to select the token. Dijan. It's uh, hit review when you're ready. When the, the gas estimate's where you want it to be. And then it's saying swap ETH for Dijon. Yep, it's got all the information. Okay, so it's actually saying it's swapping there, you can see. Okay, so I'm going to go back to here and I should see a little bit more of an impact on my Dijon. So you can see my Dijon has gone up. It was 10.7 before, it's 10.9 now. Okay, so that's now, so I now got Dijon in my wallet. So that's what you need to do in order to uh, get started with Dijon. So uh, you need to link your wallet. You need to then uh, add at least uh, 10k of Dijen into your wallet, and it needs to stay in your wallet. Um, don't add 10 and then take it out. Um, you can then log into the into this um, Dijen tips um, just to keep checking on your um, current daily allowance. Maybe give it um, 24 hours, 48 hours for it to. Um, just, just uh, activate and then eventually you'll see that you will have um, an allowance basically. Another way to check it is to go to uh, some of the in-app frames. So for instance, like here, you can just basically check your own steps and it will basically refresh and it will basically say what your allowance is, what you've got left to allocate um, and then your current point. So the points and tips is basically what you've uh, accumulated from other people kind of tipping you.